What's up everybody, Grand Hustler 32 or Bite the Frost here, depending on which channel I decide to actually put this on. I'm going to do an overview of iOS 7, and you know, I'm sure a lot of other people are doing this, but you know, I'm going to just do my first impressions, and, you know, that kind of stuff. So this is now the lock screen, as you can tell, it's a lot different. You don't get the black bars up there anymore. Uh, one of the new things that is added is uh, Control Center, I believe this is called. We can do all kinds of stuff now. And, you know, if you jailbreak and, you know, you know a lot of this stuff. Uh, but I love this. This is the best feature. You can change the brightness right there. So easy. you don't have to go in the settings app anymore to change that, which is nice. You can turn off airplane mode, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, uh, do not disturb, and lock orientation as well. Um, of course, change music right there. Airdrop, airplay. You get the flashlight directly on the uh, uh, control center now. Uh, this is going to take you to the clock, uh, calculator, and the camera. So uh, you can also still get to the camera just like that. And uh, if you just slide it now, you can change um, what the mode is in, which uh, you get uh, those four options now. So that's kind of cool. Um, and photo taking is like instantaneous now. You just take it and it's actually there. Uh, that's so nice. So uh, I'll actually redo this and go back. Slide to unlock is now like that. Instead of sliding a little slider, you just slide the screen and it takes you right to your springboard. Now, um, I changed my wallpapers and stuff. Uh, this is what it normally is, but maybe you can see. No, you can't tell. Uh, but they have... Um, your wallpaper now is like zoomed in, like mine was a lot zoomed in, and it changes with how you turn your phone. If you watched the keynote or saw any videos so far, you will know that. Uh, but yeah, that's that's cool, but for my own wallpaper, it, I, I didn't really like that, so I just uh, made it a little bit smaller so that it doesn't really turn as much now. Um, I will try to show you some of what I can. It's not going to be everything, because there's so much to change or that they changed. Um, like this, iTunes Radio. Uh, it's basically, I don't know if it's going to be a Pandora killer, but uh, that is basically what it is. Um, it's their own radio now. You can, uh, if you have iTunes Match, uh, you won't get ads, but if you don't get that, then you will have ads. Uh, and there is a skip limit. I'm not sure just how much, but uh, I haven't used this because... I just have all my music, you know, on my phone already. It's not that hard for me, but this is pretty cool. This would be a lot nicer. Maybe I will try it out, but eh, we'll see. Uh, if I actually bring up a song here. Uh, you know, you can see create. I'm guessing that would be, in fact, there you go. Uh, new station from the artist or new station from the song. So that's, that's actually really cool how they integrate uh, iTunes Radio into your music already. That I did not know because, you know, I didn't really explore everything yet. It's so much to, uh, you know, look at. But you got Shuffle All and Repeat, which is so much nicer than the old Shuffle stuff that they had. Um, so, yeah, that's basically just uh, the music app now. I don't know if they will add more to it or not, but uh, we will find out in the later betas. Alright, if I just go into the phone here, this is all redone, and if you, yeah, you can see the background there, which I think that's the whole, I guess, theme that you would call it, uh, that you can, uh, it's transparent, uh, so to say, so they, I don't really know how much I can show here, uh, but yes, so phone, you know, not really, I mean, it looks different, but other than that, not much to it that is different. Um, again, if you scroll from the bottom, it brings up the uh, control center, and uh, search is no longer there. Oh wait, it is. It's just hidden, which, thank God, I never use search, and I kind of hated it being there. Um, so yeah, just pull down, and that's how you search now. And as you can see, there uh, the keyboard is transparent, which it will be like that everywhere. I'll bring up messages. Alright, good. It's not something I don't have to hide. Um, so the keyboard is different now. I think it looks so much nicer. Um, whether or not it will change from this, who knows. Uh, whether or not you can actually add like your own or get more. That was a rumor, whether or not that's actually true. Who knows, we will find out in later 
uh, betas. Um, now, what's really cool here is hopefully I don't have to hide anything, but if you just slide, you can uh, go back to your uh, messages like that. And that works in a lot of the apps, um, I do believe. Uh, so if I go into mail, uh, subscribe. Hey, I got a new subscriber. Thank you. Um, yeah, so it works in a lot of stuff. Slide to go back, which I love that feature. It's in uh, Alien Blue for a Reddit app, uh, which is the best app for Reddit if you use Reddit. Um, they had that for a while now, and thankfully this is now uh, added in iOS itself. Um, that They have this now. If you slide it to the left, you get Archive and more, which you can do all kinds of stuff now instead of having everything down here, even though it looks like it's still there but just blocked off at the moment. Who knows? It's just the, uh, you know, first beta. A lot of stuff to work on yet, so uh, we'll see how much that changes. Uh, another thing is the clock is actually live now, which was a Joe Broken tweak for ever now, but it's finally stock, which I personally like. I mean, it's just the little things that, uh, you know, brings it out. Um, so if you've been, if you can watch it, you can't see the little hand, but it is actually the right time. Uh, I'll go into the calendar app, which is so different now. Uh, when you first open it up, it will be like this, with just the day. Uh, if you click on that, it takes you back to the month, and if you click on that, it takes you to the year, which uh, I'm not sure how much I like this. I mean, I don't use it that much, but uh, it's kind of cool, I guess. I mean, it's a lot different now. Um, so going with that, Notification Center is totally different. So you see at the top there it says Today, All, and Missed. Missed, I'm not exactly sure yet because I haven't had anything there. Uh, but Today is now the calendar and the weather right here. As you can see, weather's not there and doesn't have really anything other than it actually tells you what it is, which is nice. Um, so when you click on that, it actually takes you into their weather app. And I'll just do this quickly since I'm here. You can tap on that, you can view humidity, rain, stuff like that. That, I think, is the same for the hourly stuff. Uh, but double tap there. Oops, that's not what I was in. I was in this. Um, so yes, calendar and weather are on that. Everything else will be here. I'll go into the multitasking and show you all the changes on that. Because it is so different now. Um, this is kind of like a copying of a couple of uh, jailbreak tweaks. Um, where you had the cards before, um, whether or not all the features are the same, I'm not too sure because I never used it because, eh, I didn't care. Um, but yes, uh, you can slide back and forth now. This will be all of your, uh, tasks that you have up. And to get rid of them now, all you do is slide up and that gets rid of them. And you can do more than one at a time. So if I do that, you get rid of more than one at a time. It's so nice. Um, whether or not there are other features to this that I'm just not aware of, I'm not exactly sure. Uh, but yeah, that is the new multitasking. The App Store, uh, there's a couple new uh, features for this. Um, near Me just shows you uh, popular apps near me, which I don't have any go figure. Um, I forget what else they used to have down here. And what all has changed, um, but yeah, stuff like that. Uh, you still have to sign in to get free apps, which is stupid, but what are you gonna do? Uh, but yeah, from here, uh, you can just uh, click on free and then it'll be install app, and then you can do that. Uh, you know, so that's nice. Updates, um, which apparently, oh, I guess that just didn't go away. But uh, you get updates in, uh, automatically now, which you can turn off, which I will now go into that. The settings app is completely different. Um, well, not completely different. Completely different in looks because, well, everything is new in here. But uh, I forget exactly where that is. I think it's here. iTunes and app stores. As you can tell, it is quite laggy. Uh, but yes, automatic downloads. You can choose whether or not you want the apps to automatically update. Um, which I personally have that off because sometimes I don't want the app to update and I want to choose whether or not I actually want to update them. I don't actually let my updates go. I normally just update them. But yes, you can turn it on or off uh, depending on, you know, what you feel like doing for that. Um, 
I'll go into general. Uh, usage has changed here. Uh, it's no longer right there. Why they changed that, I'm not exactly sure. But uh, background app refresh. Um, this is also into the multitasking. Uh, I forget exactly the features here. Um, but obviously they're going to have to be enabled on uh, you know downloadable apps. Uh, right now it's just stocks and weather, which I turned them both off because I don't use them. I don't care. But uh, I do believe this will be like more instantaneous updates for your apps. So like if you're using TweetBot, um, it will just keep on automatically doing it in the background, uh, updating the tweets for you. I do believe that's how it works. So well, uh, all the apps now can do that once they are updated, which I think that would be actually kind of cool. Uh, text size did not seem to change for me. I tried it. It didn't really seem to change, so could just be a bug, but uh, maybe that will actually work. Not really sure if anything else here is changed. Uh, it's, it's, that's the same stuff that I don't actually use. Uh, control Center, yes. Uh, you can just turn, turn that on and off, but Control Center is my new favorite thing. Uh, so yeah, that is... I think basically it, um, there's probably so much more that I'm missing, but this is just the general, uh, stuff that they added to it. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this. Uh, if you want, uh, more on, uh, specific apps, maybe I will do that if you let me know. And, uh, maybe I will continue to do, uh, this on the, uh, next betas, but just of that said beta and not of the full iOS, obviously. Um, but yes, so, uh, if you guys are not subscribed, subscribe, and I will keep doing more of this, and, uh, yeah, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Peace.